Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we are looking at something a little different. This is Manga She Spawn. So yeah, she looks yeah very interesting. She's like a mecha she spawn, I guess. Um, yeah, looks very cool. It's very different. And that's what I really appreciate about McFarlane's figures. Like he's not afraid to kind of change things up and see what works and stuff. So yeah, I'm really interested to get her out of her box. She was released in June 2004. And yeah, she is from the Spawn Reborn 2 series. So this is the second series in the Reborn line. So we looked at Mandarin Spawn last time and he was also in this same line. So anyway, let's get her out of her box and check her out. All right guys, so here we got the box. So pretty nice box, got this nice purple on the side which is kind of a change, because I think the other one wasn't, well, the other one definitely wasn't purple. But this is nice as well. I think this looks really, really cool. I really like this. And here we've got the back. So this is all the same. We've seen this all before. Mandarin Spawn we unboxed, but we haven't got any of the others just yet. So we'll have to wait to unbox those ones. But yeah, that's the box and let's get her open. So. This clamshell put up quite the fight. Uh, I haven't ripped open a box like this in a long time, but yeah, what a mess, hey? But anyway, let's look at the pullout real quick. So we've obviously got manga written across the top and where it was originally issued and then ultra action figures and something underneath that I just, I cannot read for the life of me. So I can barely read the other cursive as well. But if you know what it says, let me know. So we've got some advertising. So this is the Art of Spawn line. Definitely my favorite line or one of my favorites. And then we've got this over here, which is, I like this one. They've actually displayed the models like really well. I would have liked them to have done that for the other Spawn ones, but there you go. So let's get him out of his packaging or her, I should say. So we've got this staff, so I actually like this quite a lot, I think it's very different and just looks pretty cool. So this I am not happy about. They put tape over her mask and as you can see it has left quite the residue on the helmet and that is just, yeah, that is just terrible. So it comes off, but let's have a look at how much this is left on there. So yeah, you can see that's quite sticky. That is absolutely horrible. And I'm not really sure why they did it. I guess because the helmet's quite loose, so maybe it was falling off in the packaging and they thought, oh, we'll just put tape over it. Not really sure, but definitely not a good move. So this is what she looks like out of the packaging. Uh, she looks pretty cool. Yeah, unfortunately her helmet doesn't really stay on that well. It just kind of sits on there, so. I'll probably use a bit of blue tack to keep it on there because if you know me I don't like losing pieces and I would hate to lose the helmet. So we've got some real hair here and nothing on the back so that's that. We've got the wing piece, there's actually two of those and then this goes into one end of the staff and this piece goes into the other end. This is a really weird piece as well. So this is what it looks like on the packaging. So yeah. Staff kind of goes the other way than what I would expect it to go, so I think I'm probably going to display it the other way because I don't like it pointing down like that. I think it's better to have this uh, bit with the ribbons going the other way. But this should just slide in there. Um, not really sure if I'm doing it wrong, but yeah, there we go. So that's pretty secure. I don't think it's going to fall out. And then we have this weird piece. So to my surprise, it doesn't go in the top. It goes in the side here. And yeah, this only wants to go in one specific way. There's actually a little like notch in there. So you do need to line it up properly. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't really, yeah, looking at it that well. And it kind of sticks out quite a lot. Like I'd prefer it to go in a lot more than what it did. Really don't like that piece whatsoever. Um, anyway, so we're onto the wings, they just slide into the back, and these attachment points aren't very good either. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too sure what's going on with this figure, just a lot of things, I don't know, it just doesn't 
feel like McFarlane, like, the quality for this one I feel like is just really lacking, which is really unfortunate for quite a unique figure compared to his other lines. Um, this is like a really unique figure and I kind of wish that they had done it a lot better. So here's the staff. So this is the way that you're supposed to display it. Um, pointing down and yeah, I just, I don't like that at all. I'm going to try and get it into her other hand here, but yeah, just, I don't know, just to be honest, not really happy with this one. Um, but let me know what you guys think of it. And anyway, I'll leave you with the showcase and some beats, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. Alright guys, that has been our look at Manga She Spawn. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and be sure to give this video a like. But for me, this is a really interesting one and I do like it. It kind of reminds me of the Gantz manga, like it's kind of got that look to it. But yeah, it just... If you were to hand me this and it didn't have the Spawn logos on it, I wouldn't be able to tell if this was a McFarlane figure or not. So in that aspect, that is kind of disappointing and we've lost the level of detail that I'm used to with McFarlane's figures. And this kind of just looks like every other toy, which yeah, that is disappointing. So the real hair is like an interesting part as well, like, it's very strange. I feel like that's that would get wrecked if like you were going to play with it, so, you know, lucky I won't be playing with it. Um, another thing is... This helmet does not like to stay on. Uh, it is very loose. And yeah, I, I'm i a bit annoyed about that because if you know me, I like all the pieces to be all together. So I don't like the idea of losing pieces. So I'm probably just gonna blue tack that on there. Make sure that it's secure because I don't want to lose it, obviously. But yeah, like I like the idea that they were going for. I just don't think it was that well executed and yeah I'm disappointed that it kind of looks like any other toy really but anyway guys let me know what you think down in the comments is this one you would pick up um, and if you're new here then please subscribe because I've got more spawn figures to unbox as well as a ton of other videos that you can watch so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one <laughs>